Hey, I'm Catherine. I'm Mark. And we're doing French home style. This is the French farmhouse. It originates in the 17th century in, the, in rural province France. And it starts with the French moss, which is a, which is, which is basically a farm that, a farmhouse that can produce its, its own vegetables, its own root vegetables, grain, and even, and even silk worms. Historically, it was made out of inexpensive materials that could be locally found, such as stone or wood. Today, you can find it in rural, rural France's rural province, Luberon and Cameroon. Uh, distinguishing characteristics are the large windows, the sconces, which are just like fancy light holders that have a distinct look to them, painted brick, stone in nude colors, and dormer windows. Uh, you can today we see this in America. We we typically mix it with American farmhouse styles. Personally, I like the paint of brick because I think it was elegant, but the sconces to me feel outdated. Okay, um, French provincial houses, um, used for residential architecture, it was originally found in the countryside of France. Um, the term is used to denote rural um, manor houses and chateaux um, from the 1600s and 1700s. Others were built as summer or vacation homes, many um, during the reign of Louis the um, 4th, 14th, I think. That's right. <laughs> These structures, some almost castle-like, were built by French aristocrats in the provinces or rural regions of France outside of Paris. Sometimes these structures were truly manners, living spaces for a wealthy landowner and the family, but also business centers for the farms and tenants who lived in the surrounding land. You would most likely find this type of house in the provinces or rural regions of France outside of Paris today. Some characteristics of the French provincial house style buildings tend to be built of brick and stone, although they can sometimes feature in half timbering as well. Structures are often symmetrical with very balanced proportions. French provincial architecture usually has a hipped roof. On a hipped roof, all slides slope downward towards the structure's walls. French provincial styles also have dormers on their roofs. Dormers are small extensions that protrude out, of, out of, from the roof. Dormers often have windows and are gabled with two small roof sections that meet a ridge. French provincial structures tend to have tall, single stories. These upper stories also have um, distinct um, uh, tall windows with curved arching tops. I most like the mansion look because it gives an aristocratic feel. I don't like the use of like several windows because to me it feels like somebody's staring at me or like someone can look into my house very easily. But yeah. French French Normandy, you can see, it originates in the Middle Ages in France, when the province Normandy, Normandy. At, at the time, like, at the time, French silos were attached to the main house. So you can see that in this tower with, tower with like the big, big pointed roof. And it was popularized in America during the 1920s and 1930s due to World War One, where a lot of where everyone took inspiration from French housing designs, and you see a lot of books published during this time with a lot of plans to follow for this kind of house. Today we see, in America, we see this in Minneapolis and Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, the car as I mentioned, the, one of the characteristics is the steep cone-shaped roofs that came from when silos were attached to the house, and the asymmetrical plan Stone walls and the and in the twentieth century you could see half timbering, which you can see in this in this house particularly, and round stair towers. Personally, I don't care for the big towers because it feels medieval and a little much, but I do like the asymmetrical plan because I feel it's more visually stimulating than a symmetrical one. Uh, French uh, Creole Louisiana. 
architecture, of course, began in the French colonial period, 1699 to 1762. However, the tradition continued in popularity well into the 1800s. By the 1830s and 1840s, one sees houses that combine French Creole um, features and Anglo-American traditions, such as the cemetery and central hall plan. The French Creole building tradition appeared in New France, um, i.e. in the United States, Mississippi Valley. Some have noted distinct similarities to buildings in France, while others emphasize the evolution the tradition underwent in the New World, um, principally the Caribbean. The French Creole building tradition can be found in the United States, Mississippi Valley, or in Louisiana. Um, some characteristics of the French Creole Louisiana, uh, Louisiana house style. Creole floor plans tend to be asymmetrical and always lack interior hallways. A broad, um, a broad spreading roof line. Gallery roof supported by light wooden um, cologne nets. Placement of principal rooms well above grade. Sometimes a full story. The, um, a form of construction usually utilizing a heavy timber frame combined with an infill made of brick or mixture of mud, moss, and animal hair called fuselage. I most like the pyramid type roofs um, because it gives the house a more um, like modern symmetrical look. I don't like the overuse of windows because it seems um, futile. Houses in New Orleans are a little different. The origins are a bit mixed, but but the Creole townhouse we can are built to make to be fireproof, which we can find from like which rose to prominence after the Great New Orleans fire. So typically they're made of like stone and brick. Uh, New Orleans, and characteristically of New Orleans, it's in a big city, so you can't have like a big porch like you can can in the rural areas. So in so New Orleans, the porches typically meet onto the street instead of like into a big lawn or field. Uh, the picture depicted here is actually the oldest example it, and it's called G that name. I'm not gonna butcher it. It's the blacksmith's shop on Bourbon Street. Uh you went over he went over a lot of the characteristics in his life of like the, the typical French Creole house, but a typical like specific to New Orleans, as I said, the porches met onto the street, and and the col and it had colonnettes, which are these things, which are just skinny columns, and and I said like townhouses were made to be fireproof, and they had like half half stories for bedrooms. Personally, I like the large porch because you can still be outside, like you don't have to be like on the ground and everything, and you can still be close to your homes. But I don't like the colonnettes because they seem very out of place, and they they just don't look appealing to me personally. And that's it. Huh?